Hey everyone, welcome to a quick video and today I wanted to talk about how to craft your 463 item for the first week of the new patch of 10.2 and I had a great question on my stream asking how to craft whatever I was crafting on stream I was crafting a ring and then on my other character I crafted uh, another piece of gear and they were asking how do you get the 463 piece of gear so here I am today kind of discussing that and showing you how to do it easily before we get started guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it and if you want to check out my stream i do stream uh, on a daily basis you can check me out here on youtube or on twitch i have links in the description down below thank you the first thing you want to do is basically pick up the weekly quests in the emerald dream the first one is the worthy ally and the second one is from lady moonberry which unites I forgot what the quest is called, but it's something unite, uh, unite the allies or something. And it just asks you to obtain a splinter and that way she would get you the second splinter. So with the worthy ally completion of that quest, you will get your first splinter. And then once you get that, you can complete the quest from Lady Moonberry, get your second splinter. And then from here, you can craft your uh, spark of dreams. So it does take 250 flight stones, unfortunately, but you'll passively get that as you're progressing through the campaign and doing all the side quests, collecting uh, the different treasures around the Emerald Dream, and it should be easy to craft your Spark of Dreams. And I recommend crafting this 463 gear after you do all the, uh, the campaign quests, all the side quests, and you basically have done everything for the week uh, that way you can look at your character and see what pieces of gear is lacking because uh, you will get some really nice BOEs to drop like I just got this uh, shoulder that's adventure at 428 that can go all the way up to past 450 which is really nice and I was just I just barely got started doing the campaign and it dropped right away so so yeah just make sure you do the entire campaign do all the side quests and see what kind of gear you looted and just kind of go from there and decide which one is lacking uh, usually most people will craft uh, the weapons first and go with rings and trinkets because those are some of the more harder to get items in my opinion from already playing six alts these are the ones that I kind of have a hard time uh, getting at a high item level and also the campaign does give you the uh, Explorer set which is let's see here which will get you all the way up to 437 which is not bad it's a very good start uh, which is the overgrown uh, Freyan warplate for my warrior here so it's the quest rewards as you do the first three chapters of the campaign You'll get every single piece here. So once you have your Spark of Dreams, you want to head on over to Valdraken in the Artisan's uh, Market. And here we can find the uh, crafting orders. So open this up by talking to one of these NPCs. And let's decide that we're going to craft a weapon and we want to get a 463 weapon going. Uh, what you want to do is go under weapons and for warrior here I'm going to go under two hands and I'm going to search and we want to focus on items that go all the way up to 486 uh, we don't want to touch anything that's below that because it's just going to be a waste of our spark so we have to be very careful and mindful of what we're going to uh, create uh, obviously we're not going to be doing a staff right uh, we want to do like a two-handed axe or mace. This one seems very promising. The Shadowed uh, Raising Annihilator. It has a really nice uh, ability. Strike your target with an erupting slam dealing 21,000 shadow flame damage. So I'll actually save that and I'll select it. Now we have the Placing Crafting Order window. Uh, it's very easy to find someone to craft it. Uh, I did have a question saying, hey, why don't we just craft it ourselves? Uh, it's very expensive and time consuming if you start crafting it yourself and then you also have to get the plans for it. So it gets kind of tedious and it's just a lot easier to pay someone to do it. And I usually tip 
uh, the crafter like a thousand, two thousand, three thousand gold depending on the item. Uh, anyways, what we want to do next is hit the track recipe. And now we're going to get this uh, new profession kind of quest going on here to obtain the materials that we need to craft the weapon. Uh, I wouldn't worry about infusing it with power because uh, we're just not there yet. Now all of these items are available to purchase on the auction house and if you have TSM running you can see uh, the prices for each item. Uh, they're quite expensive especially for this uh, this mace here. It's gonna run me a lot of gold uh, because I need two obsidian cobra skins, five shadowed alloy and yeah it's gonna cost me probably more than what I have as far as gold goes here. Uh, let's go back to another one. Let's try the ring here. Let's try the ring. So let's go to the Signet of Titanic Insight. It's a very common item that is always being crafted on a daily basis. And let's track our recipe. Let's remove this one here. And this is just going to be for a quick example. And I just want to make sure that I'm covering every basis when it comes to crafting uh, this item at 463 uh, once we get the track recipe going let's head on over to the auction house and also you will need to have your secondary stats so whatever you want your stats to be you want to make sure you buy that missive or the ring or the item that can have the uh, optional reagents as for the mace I can't really you know, I can't really add the uh, the uh, secondary stats or whatever because it already has it by default. So we don't really need to worry about that. Let's head on over to the auction house. And once I open the auction house, I'll have this little search bar. And I just click on that and it's going to search all the items that I'm looking for to purchase. Now you will need TSM properly running on your PC and auctionator installed as an add-on to have this really nice uh, quick and easy search of each item now when it comes to the items you want to select the highest quality possible so I'm going to get two of these I'm not gonna craft this ring but I'm just gonna show you as an example we're going to grab one of those and we're going to grab, looks like we only need one of these, so we're going to grab the highest quality. There is a and we're good to go. Oh yeah, we also have to grab our missive, which I totally forgot. And I also forgot what the stats are for the warrior. And again, you don't want to waste it on low quality recipes. The only reason why these are on the auction house is for those crafters that are trying to craft an item and try to uh, get the quality up as high as possible because you can't really craft, as a starting crafter, you cannot craft a high quality item because you have to go through the various uh, trial and error crafting of the item through the lowest quality and moving on to the highest quality, which is kind of fun at first, but uh, I, I find this to be a lot easier just to buy the items off the auction house and have someone else uh, craft it for you. So I bought that. Let's check out our mailbox. All bought. And you can see that all the items now are checked off under the profession. So we're ready to get our item crafted. So let's open up our crafting order. There's our signet of Titanic Insight. And all of the items are now there. And here you want to make sure that you select the right spark. If you have the spark of shadow flame, you will get a low item level. You can see that this one's at 411. And select the spark of dreams. So just make sure you select the spark of dreams. The lowest item level you can see is at 450. But we want the highest quality possible. Now open trade chat and I'm going to say looking for crafter 
and under the minimum quality make sure you select the highest quality which is this like orange large gem and now it's sitting at item level 463 let's hit shift and click and now it's in my chat let's hit enter and usually takes a couple times especially during you know very peak hours of the game and we already have someone to craft it for us very easy and all you have to do is just right click copy their name paste it into two and you can tip them whatever you'd like I usually do a thousand or two thousand gold just to you know give them something don't don't be too greedy on your cold but yeah that is it and once you know you send it over you will get a message saying that the item has been crafted you'll find it in your mailbox and it usually takes about a minute for it to show up in your mailbox and now you have a dream crafted item at level item level 463 so yeah just a reminder you can get these sparks on a weekly basis so you can craft a 463 piece of gear every single week and keep in mind that uh, there are some pieces that do give you some uh, abilities like this one is for pvp it looks like and also you cannot equip more than two shadow flame uh, crafted items that's just the limit as far as that goes so don't waste your sparks on multiple shadow uh, flame crafted gear for your character unless you're trying to sim and see which item works best uh, with or without that ability going back to the shadow raising annihilator unfortunately this is going to cost me two spark of dreams so i'll have to wait another week to get my second spark so i'll be crafting this one on reset day and getting my two-handed mace for my warrior so obviously this one's going to cost me a lot of gold but it's going to be well worth it because i save a lot of time and i don't have to craft it myself trying to get the recipe uh, spending a lot more gold than i should or farming for the items it's just too much so this is the best way for you to get your 463 item and also what's very cool is that if you already have a uh, crafted like for example i have this one already on my warrior the signet of titanic insight which i crafted last season we can grab that item and we can change it to the spark of dreams and we'll need artisan's metal the shimmering clasp and the the emerald uh, reagent and go to highest quality and now we can craft it at 463 so you can you can definitely craft your shadow flame crafted items from last season and get them up to 463 i do have a nice staff on my druids that gives a boost in haste but that's going to take me uh, a couple weeks to get because it requires two sparks of the dream or two spark of the dreams uh, to craft it. So hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section what you think and what did you get your hands on as far as your first uh, craft goes. Please make sure to tune in to my streams. I like to stream on YouTube and on Twitch on a daily basis. I love to play WoW and I'd love to see you uh, stop by, say hello, and if you have any questions, love to help. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one.